here coming back to you with a new video this is one of my newest customs and i am very proud of it it is a 1920s american gangster from the italian mafia and this isn't any set gangster from the mafia this is just a mafia gangster and i did a really good job on him i think it took me a long time to get painting to get the painting done and the paint and just the detail on everything and i'm also showcasing some brick warriors accessories in this video so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video i have a lot to show you i have a lot of new techniques that i've been doing so yeah let's get started so maybe one of the first thing you have noticed with this custom is that there is a trench coat on it and this is one of my first customs that i've ever used a trench coat with and i think it turned out really good i'm still working it out so it looks all right but this is the first custom i've done a trench coat with and i made this trench coat by using a fabric-y like tape it's very good it's really sticky so it stays on your figure but that's how i did the trench coat i'm going to be doing trench coats with a lot of my new figures because i'm making a lot of new figures i have tons of new figures i'm ready to showcase but this figure was not uh had no sculpting on it so that's why it's just going to be a short little video I am including Brick Warriors accessories, sort of, I'm showcasing them. Uh, the hat is a fedora from Brick Warriors, and it's really cool because it's, like, really oversized for his head. And I actually really like that because I think that gives it the aspect of a gangster and all the baggy clothes they wore. And this Tommy gun is a Brick Warriors accessory too because you can obviously tell it is a way upgraded version of Lego's Tommy Gun which sucks completely and I custom painted this and that so this is a modified Tommy Gun and one thing I did not like about the Brick Warriors hat is that it came red which makes no sense sorry Brick Warriors but so that is what I had to do I had to paint it black and then do the white stripe but I think the white stripe looks really good and as you can see here, if you look on his left hand, he has a brass knuckle on his gloves. And I decided to do gloves instead of fit, instead of just clean hands because, you know, they did a lot of crime. And they just wore gloves a lot to protect themselves and whatnot. But those are the brass knuckles. And I just used a bronze paint to, uh, and I sort of like layered it on there in sort of a knuckle kind of shape. And it looks really good. And I did a uh, white little cuffs on there, and the hat and the painting goes all around on the hat. There's nothing on the back because his trench coat is covering it. And if you're wondering how I did the cigar, I will show you that. I got a hand and I cut the part that goes into the arm socket off, and then I glued that to his face, and then I painted it. So this is also a modified head, and I will get into that right about now. So this head is a modified version of this head that I'm holding right here. And if you saw my Flickr post about me running out of skin colored heads, I got these two for my friend, so that's how I was able to make this custom. But I pretty much just scraped off a lot of the scars, and I painted on a little pencil mustache, and I uh, scraped a little line in his eyebrow to make it look like he got a scar right there. And I think that looks really cool. I think that adds the aspect that he's been in a lot of fights. So that's just a modified one of these. And uh, his head overall looks really good, even though there's not that much detailing by me. The only things that I added were the cigar and the mustache and the eyebrow scratch that you see right there. Onto his suit. Now, this was probably the most uh, tedious part because I had to use a lot of thin lines. Like, as you can see in his tie right there, I pretty much made it a pinstripe tie. And I think that looks really cool. And it adds a better aspect to it. Like, if it wasn't a pinstripe tie, I just don't think this would have looked as cool as it does now. But that is the top. That is the suit. It didn't take that long to paint, it was just like, or it wasn't that hard to paint, but it was very tedious because it just took a lot of detailing and uh, patience. But that is his uh, torso, and I'm going to do a 360 of the video of the figure and then wrap up the video.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you like the custom. I like the custom. It's a really good custom in my part. I think I did a great job on it. Um, I hope you um, enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. I have two more uh, products that came in the Brick Warriors in the Brick Warriors pack that I got today. I have this uh, Mosin, I think, and I have this Colt uh, Snub Nose right pistol and I have a stick of dynamite as well but I can't find it so go check out Brick Warriors they're a very cool website they uh, custom mold all their uh, accessories and they're really cool so go check them out but thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and the custom I will be back in a couple days with my two custom contest entries but I only made this video because it was a short little video and I just wanted to show you guys this custom so thanks deuces